Hey guys, I'm Dr. Horshik, and today I'm going to teach you how to get your first pistol squat. Get up and get down, get up and get down. All right, let's get into it. So, during a pistol squat, the first thing we have to understand is the mobility demands. In order to get all the way down into a deep pistol, you have to have a crazy amount of ankle mobility. So if you have restrictions, this is gonna be a very difficult exercise. So the first things before we even get into my progression of how to teach you a pistol squat, we have to get some ankle mobility work. So what I want you to do, come over to a bench, let's get a little stretch in. Put your foot on the bench, grab the bench, pull your chest and drive your knee over your toe. Should feel a really good stretch in the back side of your calf, Achilles tendon region. I want you to hold this position for 10 seconds and then come back. And I want you to do five to 10 of these on each side. Even if you have great ankle mobility, we still need to prime that mobility prior to doing any pistol squats so you can have the full access of your movement capabilities. Now, if you have a pinch or block sensation in the front side of your ankle while doing this, you need to be doing banded joint mobilizations to clear those up first. But if you do not, just this stretch is probably one of my favorite ones for improving that ankle mobility. So that is step one. Now, how do we go about getting your first pistol squat? We're not just gonna jump to doing um, a squat without any assistance. We're gonna give ourselves a little assistance because we're learning this very difficult movement. What we're gonna do is we're gonna perform a touchdown squat. We're gonna learn the basics of a full pistol by learning the foundation of a single leg squat that includes balance, stability, and mobility all together. What you're gonna do is get into the middle of a plate. We're gonna start tall. We're going to hinge our hips, bring our chest forward, and you're gonna squat down till your heel taps the ground and back up like that. So the hips go back, tap, and back up. From a front view, here, hips back, tap, knees staying in line, and back up. There's an eggshell down there, tap the eggshell, don't break the eggshell. So I don't want you to step off the box. It's not a lateral step down. It's a lateral touchdown. So we're here, tap, and back up. Now, eventually, you build it up. So let's put a couple more plates on. Let's get up a little bit higher. Increasing the demands on your mobility, your stability, tap down, and back up. Eventually, every single person no matter who you are, should be able to do a touchdown off at least a 12 inch box, most people. Now, if you have a CrossFit class where everyone is doing pistols, that's part of the workout program, and you have people that cannot do a pistol, instead of having them do it where they're hanging from like a TRX or some rings, I would much rather you do a touchdown squat because you're gonna actually work your body in the way it is moving throughout your day. You don't have assistance from holding on to something, but you do have the ability to perform a single leg squat. This is gonna be much more helpful for you than doing a TRX assisted or ring assisted squat where you're going down further, but you're taking balance and coordination and stability completely out of the picture. This is gonna have more carryover to things you do throughout your day and your other lifts in the gym. So this is the next step. Now, <clears throat> eventually you're gonna get to the point where you can go up even higher. How do we turn this into something that looks a little bit more like a pistol squat? What you're gonna do, and I'll show you this from a side view, <clears throat> you're gonna get down and sweep your leg forward. So from here, you're gonna get that down, okay? And then you're gonna start sweeping the leg forward and slowly working into a deeper and deeper squat. Eventually, you'll be able to sit further and then back up. But you can see, because my foot is under the height of my stance leg, it's gonna have less demands on ankle mobility than if I was trying to do this on the flat ground. So it's gonna allow people to get into that position of a pistol without having to keep their free leg up so it's a little bit easier. So again, we're here, we're still hinging, squatting down, we're sweeping, and then we're back. Eventually, as you can do that, you can then get to the full pistol. So that foot is up, we're still hinging, we're squatting down all the way, and then we're back up. Now here's the thing, some people will say their quad starts to cramp up a lot. Well first, you can do a little bit of soft tissue mobility, maybe a little foam rolling on that side, but something I like to do, just have that free leg up, try not to be pushing it straight out in front of you at first. A lot of times that may be do a little flexibility issue, but from here, then squat down and extend it at the very bottom. 
and then back up. So that is the progression. This takes time, but what's the big thing? Ankle mobility has to come first. In order to get down into a pistol squat, you need your knee to go past your toe. It's not a bad thing if you do it in the correct position where the hips move first. Okay, from there, it's learning balance. It's learning coordination. We're not taking that, those out by holding onto some rings or a TRX. I want you to have the capabilities to balance and coordinate your body all the way down into a single leg squat. And then from there, it's just building up your capacity using a single leg squat with a little bit of assistance from a box called a lateral touchdown. And then from there, you build yourself all the way up till eventually you have the ability to squat down, raise your leg, and then you can do your full pistol squat. This progression takes time, but I promise you it can help you out to get and master the full pistol squat. I hope you guys liked today's quick uh, video on YouTube. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment on the video, let me know how you liked it, or if there's anything else you'd like to learn about in next week's video. Until then guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos, these people have